are here in the brew house of the very beautiful Black Cloister Brewing Company in downtown Toledo. Behind us, we're getting spit on by the fermenters we back are. there. This guy, whatever beer this is, it is aggressive. It is fermenting like mad. It's, it's awesome. Bubbling over. It's great. It's great. And no better place to review a fantastic, hopefully, beer than in a brew house with beer being born right behind us. Corey, yes. what do we got? This is uh, this is Victory's Wild Devil. This is a Brett IPA. And it should be a great beer. Glub 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 glub. <sighs> Brett IPAs are always a lot of fun. They always bring that funky, but also the hoppy flavors to it. So I love Brett. I think it's a great addition to beer. So this already is starting off on the right foot. But All let's right. go ahead and take a sniff. Ooh, that's actually really cool. It's very earthy. I like that a, a lot. A lot of those like earthy, almost probably like uh, fuggle type hops. I like where that. They're, where they're not like the big citrus bombs, but also the, the funky kind of spicy kind of peppery characters. Yeah. Definitely, it, it's come like through. a fun uh, mix between a nice traditional IPA and and uh, aromas often found like a saison. Oh with yeah. The, with those Brett uh, additions, uh, there's like that nice dry but very. Um, v- green, yeah, uh, yeah. hay-like aromas. Uh, I'm ready to find out if it's as good as it smells. Ron, there's only one way. There's really just one way to find out. Let's dive in. Cheers. Cheers. That is very nice. That is more. Now, I will admit this is a little bit of an older bottle, but I figured since it was a bread IPA, it was okay to age just a, just a little bit longer just than a, normal. Just a scotch. So I don't get a huge hot bomb from this, but what I get is a nice, almost like dirty kind of flavor from it that, that reminds me of like freshly grown hops like i'm out there eating just hops that dried on the vine too long i mean it's really really delicious adjectives are funny (laughs) you said a dirty uh, a dirty sort of flavor to me it's like very clean i guess maybe instead of dirty i should have said rustic it seems rustic to me it seems homegrown like like i'm like i'm out in the field making a beer that's kind of what i feel like to me i don't know i just feel like the flavors are very um direct and uh, there's nothing convoluted about the flavor. It's yeah. just, it's very nice and green. Yeah. And whether that's coming from the hops or maybe from that Brett addition or a combo of, of each probably, yeah. um, it's just very nice. So often you get beers that have maybe like multiple hop additions and this may be one, but it's you're, you're kind of pulled in different directions. Mm-hmm. I just feel like that Brett sort of like cleans that up a little bit, rounds it up together. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's just a very direct flavor that I don't have to think about. It, just, it reminds me of, of more of a Saison than it does an IPA, but, yes, just, yes. but just with a lot of those kind of IPA undertones. Yes. This is very much a hoppy Saison flavor to me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, and, and you did say a little bit older of a bottle, but regardless... Whatever condition it is right now, it's actually very nice. I like, I guess by clean, I also meant nothing lingering. It washes out. Oh, yeah, you're right. Washes out, and I think it's that, Brett, you know, so many IPAs beat you over the face with hop additions, and this one is kind of very sensible and very good. So really nice, easygoing beer. I think my favorite part of the beer drinking experience here is when your nose is in the glass and you're drinking at the same time. It's just a lot of sensory information going on there. Mm-hmm. It's a really nice smelling beer followed up by a really clean taste. So you sort yeah. of get the hops and the aroma and that bread and the flavor. Really a nice melding. Yeah. Very impressed. I like it a lot. Yeah, a really good flowery kind of flavor going on there too. Um, you know, we, we can sit here and describe this all day, but at the end of the day, what matters is what do you rate this? What are you going to give this? Would you go buy this again? Is this one you would recommend to your friends? Ron, what are you going to give Victory's... Uh, Wild Devil. Yeah, I like it a lot. Uh, I think it's really approachable for a lot of people and appropriate for a lot of um, situations. I'm going to give it a real solid A. I'm going to go like 94. I mean, I really like it. I would definitely get it again. I agree. I think it's one of those where you can taste the craftedness of it. You can taste that it was well made. There's no off flavors. Everything is just well proportioned. It's, uh, It's good in its delicacy and it's good in its lightness in a lot of ways. I'm gonna go 92. Um, I it's solid A beer. I think maybe it could have been a little hoppier, but maybe that's our fault. So maybe I should knock that down. But 92 is what I'm gonna give it. I would buy this one again. I'm going to. I'm gonna try this one absolutely again. Probably do a written review. It's a fantastic beer. Make sure you can get one if you ever see it on the shelves. And until you do, always remember. We are the review crew. More review. A brew for you. Cheers. Cheers.
Guys, if you're ever in the Northwest Ohio area or any of that sort of tri-state area, stop, in stop here. by the uh, Black Cloister Brewing Company. It's yeah. super cool. It's in a very, very old building in Toledo yeah. and they've renovated it. It's beautiful. I mean, they're awesome enough to let us just hang out in their brew house. They are good people with great beer. You won't be disappointed. Check out Black Cloister Brewing Company. You can find them on Facebook, Twitter, and online. Till next time. See ya. See ya.